Do you need to add your website to Google Search Console? Well, keep watching. In this video, I'll walk you through how to get your site up and running on Google Search Console. One of the best resources that Google has supplied us with is something called the Google Search Console. It used to be called Google Webmaster, and they have recently renamed it to Google Search Console. So you'll hear both of those terms used sometimes. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a Google account and that you're logged in. Once you've logged into your Google account, head over to search.google.com slash search dash console. And we need to add our website. So we'll do this. We'll go to the drop down here and we'll add property and click on add property. Once you're taken to this screen, just type in the address of your website and add property. Once you add the site, then you need to verify ownership and you don't necessarily have to verify that you own it, but just that you have administrative access to the website. They give you a recommended method, but let's look at the alternative methods. The one that we're looking for is we actually want to just add the HTML tag. So I'm going to click on that and we'll need to copy this information. So I'm going to highlight it, right click and copy. Now we need to go to our website's dashboard. From the dashboard, let's head over to plugins because we want to add a new plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new. And under the search area, let's search for insert headers and footers. This is a very simple plugin that is created by WP Beginner. This is the one we want. So let's click install now. Once it's installed, go ahead and activate it. And this just gives you a really simple and easy way to add code to verify things on your site. So now that it's here, we can go under settings, go to insert headers and footers. And that bit of code that we copied, let's go to the header area right click and paste. Now that that's here, we can save that. Settings have been saved, so we've added it successfully to our site. Now a second method you could use to add this piece of code to your site is by using a plugin that you probably already have installed, and that's by using the Yoast SEO plugin. To connect your site with Search Console using the Yoast plugin, head over to your dashboard, go down to SEO, click Dashboard, from here, we have a tab up here called Webmaster Tools. When we click on that, we have three different Webmaster Tools we can connect to. We want to connect the Google Search Console. So we'll just click into this area, right click, and paste that bit of code. Once we do that, we can click Save Changes. And for either of the plugins that you use, the next step will be the same. We can head back over to the Search Console area, scroll down, and we want to click Verify now. It'll go through and if it sees the code, then you have been verified and now it's added to the site. Now we can click continue and it's actively on our site. It will take a couple of days for the data to show up here. So you'll want to come back in a couple of days and you can start seeing the performance of your website. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.